Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on The Slant Lens, we're going to take a look at the history of putt pie from the 1800s through the 50s to today by blending three different moves on our Slider Plus Pro with our Head Plus from Edelkrone. We're going to put these three moves together seamlessly to create one shot that changes eras as we look through. So we're going to be eating lots of pot pie. Lots of pot pie. We're going to have a couple bites. We have a couple bites here as we talk about the pot pie. We are going to have all kinds of things. Oh my lord. This idea occurred to me because I was sitting in a restaurant in New York, a very, very high-end restaurant that my daughter was extremely excited about going to. And on the menu they had pot pie. Like somehow it was a new revolution. Pot pie. We've been making pot pies since the 1700s, man. So we are going to take and do a little sweeping shot with the Head Plus and the Slider Plus Pro from Edelkrone. And what this is going to do is it's going to move from era to era. First starts on a person, pans down to the pie, then parallax around the pie, and back up to the person. And what this is going to do is we're going to change eras as we go from left to right. It's going to be in the 1800s, then to the 50s, then to today. So it's nice because on the uh, Edelkrone setup here, I've got four different pose positions. Position one is in her face, position two is panning down the pie, Proficient position three is doing the parallax around the pie, and position four is panning back up to her face again. We've got three lights on set. The first one is an Aperture 300D, and we're gonna turn that off. It's just a little bit of fill here on our face, on my face, so let's kill that 300D. Now we've got a Silk 210 from the camera left side. It's into a little uh, bit of diffusion, and we're gonna kill that light. We've got the diffusion up so that we have a little harder light hitting the pie, and a little softer light on my face. So let's turn that off. Last of all, from F&V, we've got a Z1200 effect light. It's an RGB light on the side over here, and it's doing that fire effect to give us a sense there's a little fire going in the background, just to give us some interest in the lighting as she's bringing the pie in and setting it into place. So there's our three lights and the lighting setup for the 1800s portion of our little camera move. So let's talk about the lighting breakdown here for the 50s. We just made a slight tweak to our 1980s uh, lighting setup. We still have the, the uh, fill light in the foreground, that 300 aperture D. So we'll kill that 300 aperture D in the foreground. And there it goes. Now we've still got the diffusion on our, my camera left side with the Silk 210 light in it. So we kill that. And we're left with just a little bit of fill light here on my camera right, or the, my right side, camera left side. And that's the uh, Z1200 uh, from F&V. So let's turn that off. So here's the floor. There's just a little bit of sunlight here, uh, just a little bit of light in the room, uh, but that's it. So there we go, the three different lights. So she's just measuring in where each of the items go here so we can kind of see them changing from era to era. We see the plate changes, we see the, uh, the uh, measuring cups change, just as we go around. I love the Slider Pro Plus because at that single pick point, it's gonna go all the way out, it's gonna swing past that and go all the way to the other side. So it gives you a lot of movement for a slider that's that small and put in your suitcase and carry with you. So it's fabulous in that way. One of my favorite things about all of the Edelchrome products is the fact that they run on LP batteries. It's just, I have Canons, I have Canon batteries. It just makes it very seamless to use. So I do love that about the Edelchrome devices. So here's the lighting breakdown for the 2019s. First, we got a K2000 by F&V that's on her face with a grid on it, so we'll kill that. That's just supposed to open her face up just a little bit. So go ahead and turn that off. Then we've got really in the front, we've got an Aperture 300D bouncing into a V-flat. That V-flat is going to just open everything up, give us a little cross light across the, the pie and to open up the side of her face. Kill that. Then from the side over here, we've got a Silk 210 that's coming through this piece of diffusion. We'll kill that. Last of all, last of all we got the Z1200 on this side. Just a little bit of fill with white light. Now we can kill that. All right, so there's our lighting breakdown for our final shot. A very bright and airy, we went from a little more dark, moody, and gradually ramped it up to very bright and airy. So let's turn all the lights back on. So Ed Rudolph taught us that uh, you don't try to do this little pie pull out of the uh, pie because it's just gonna crumble everything up. So Jelena's cutting out a piece of pie, and she's gonna take it out, and if it doesn't survive getting out, then she'll probably go back to, we're going to cut a nice piece of pie so she lifts it out, it's just beautiful, nothing is oozing out, everything's perfect, because we all know that when you cut a piece of, uh, of pie, not that this is pie, what is this? Chicken pot pie. There we go, chicken pot pie. Everyone knows when you cut a piece of chicken pot pie, it comes out perfectly. All right, so let's wrap this up. There's three different lighting scenarios. It kind of moves from a darker to a lighter kind of experience, from old to new, 
And in that process, we use the same slider move, the same tilt up, so you got that tilt pan and slide, to be able to give us the same move, they're gonna blend those together. So let's take a look at that right now. So there you have it. There's a great look at blending three shots together, kind of go through different eras of chicken pot pie. It's just the ability to repeat that move with the precision slider, tilt, and pan head. So we got the Slider Plus Pro and we got the Head Plus that gives us the ability to combine those three and do it over and over again. So we just repeat those moves. So check it out. Edel chrome has got a special deal where if you buy multiple products, you get like 10, 15, 20% off, which is a great deal. Truly the easiest uh, slider for motion, for stop motion or for time lapse that I have ever used. Truly it is. Just easy to use, use that app, find your points, click and go. So thanks to Edel Crone for sponsoring this uh, piece that we worked on here today. And we hope you learned something about lighting and about camera moves. So keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking.